So, one thing people associate with vampires is when you're going out and before you go into someone else's property asking for permission for some reason before going further, like whether you're at the door or whatever, if you're not at the door, the first person you see, you ask, hey, can I go do whatever? If there's other people, like, sitting or something. Um, thing is, I do that. <laughs> and it's not because I'm a vampire, to my knowledge. <laughs> it's because I'm autistic. So for me, when I'm in a new place and I don't know it and it's foreign and I, I just feel more comfortable asking for permission before doing something because I don't, I don't know if there's like a certain way about it. Like in a new place, there's n new variables that are difficult for me to mentalize. And so sometimes, even if I've been there before, even if they said yes before, I'll ask hey, is it alright if I go sit there? Um, and I don't always do this, it really depends, and it also depends on like sensory variables and how many people are there. But it's not because I'm a vampire, it's because I'm autistic. Another thing is, um, I jokingly often refer to myself as a demon, uh, somewhat jokingly, <laughs> somewhat seriously. Um, and it's because multiple, at least three, <laughs> of the... Uh, groups I fall into have been historically demonized to a point where I don't even have the will to fight it, where I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll be a demon. If that's what the world sees me as, I might as well embrace it, is I guess how I feel about it, because uh, one of the things with being autistic is bullying and insults don't exactly have the same like, growing up, you can't just be like, oh, well, that's not true, because when you're younger, you really think it is true. Like, if someone calls you a freak or a demon or whatever, or says you're, you know, if you if you are told repeatedly your whole childhood that there's something horribly wrong with you, you don't just be like, oh, well, you know, they're just stupid, and those are just words. You think, oh, wow, there is actually legitimately something horribly wrong with me. I must be a freak. Um... <laughs> And so I grew up just seeing myself as, like, a monster. And so now as an adult, I've reclaimed that as a source of power and pride rather than a source of, oh, I guess I just have to die now because people can't handle my existence. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I often do say that, like, I'm a demon or a fallen angel because I associate myself with that and I can relate to not fitting into power, not fitting into order, not fitting in with normalcy. And because of that, being conflated and being told that I am inherently and innately evil uh, to some extent. People don't use that word, people don't say it that way, but it's the message that it conveys to the individual and it's the message that I internalized my whole life is that there's something broken in me that other people think they can fix and I need to rely on them because I can't trust myself. And now I realize that all of that is bullshit and that, no, I'm a disabled man who was lacking any of the resources or help that I've now had to teach myself. <laughs> Um, but essentially, like, I don't mind calling myself a demon because for me, I'm using it uh, constructively and I'm reclaiming that identity. Um, but yeah, it does in a way come from pain because my whole life I lived in pain and was taught that I deserved it. And that's, that's what a demon is, is a creature born of fear. And as I myself am a creature born of fear who was put into this world by a different creature who was equally born of fear in other ways and put that fear into me, I am a demon. But I'm not a vampire. 